good morning happy friday we are back in the bathroom which can only mean one thing i'm starting a new vlog i thought i'd vlog over the next couple of days alex has gone away with work this morning and he's not back until late tomorrow afternoon so i thought it'd just be fun to vlog and do a little at homey vlog it's kind of bring you along with my couple of days it's like what i get up to my plan originally for today was i did want to go out um i want to go pick something up and i was going to go out with coffee and stuff However, I've got two parcels due to arrive and they're both due to arrive today and one of them's not due until like before three o'clock it says. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it out really. But I do need to pop out later because I do need to pick up some bits for dinner. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to do like coffee and the shop tomorrow. Because yeah, like I say, I'll wait for two parcels, which I'm actually really excited for. I will show you them both when they arrive because I do want to show you them because one of them's a little home thing for the bathroom and then one of them is like a little beauty thing that I treat myself to which I want to show you because I thought it was really really cool but yeah just got the next two days basically to myself which I'm really looking forward to um I've just been up this morning I've just been watching a couple of episodes of Gilmore Girls almost at the end of season four and I have to say season four I think is like my favorite season so far like I'm just loving season four and I'm like so excited for the ending of season four because if you know you know do a little bit of skincare i'm probably not gonna do any much makeup or if any makeup today just because obviously like i said i'm gonna be waiting around for parcels and then like if i pop to the shop i don't really need makeup on for that so i thought i'd just do a little bit of skincare just so i feel a little bit more put together and i've just kind of just put a jumper and some joggers on so i'm actually dressed for the day i thought i'd start the vlog here um because i feel like it's become tradition for my vlogs to start in the bathroom okay one of my parcels actually just arrived this was the one that said it wasn't gonna arrive until like said like up until three so the fact it's actually arrived now i'm really really chuffed about so as you can see it's from boots so basically this year i was really considering buying a beauty advent calendar um because i kind of eye them up every year i've never bought one and I was gonna get one, but they were like all around like 200 and something pounds this year. So I resisted buying one because I just couldn't really justify spending 200 pounds. I was on the Boots Instagram page and they were teasing this. And I thought, oh, that looks really, really good. And then I saw the other day they released it. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna order it because it was only 80 pounds and it is the Boots Best of Beauty box. And I thought it looked really, really good. It was a good variety of products. There was some things in there that I'd already used that I would like repurchase. And then also there's some new stuff in here that I thought would be cool to try. And like I said, it was only 80 pounds. So I thought the value of the box was actually really, really good. We'll link it down below if it is still available um, because I did actually eye this up last year. They did one for 2022. It looked really, really good as well, but I never picked that up. So I feel like this is something I'm gonna keep my eye out on every year because for like 80 pounds, I thought it was really good. Yeah, it's arrived today, which is really good because I only ordered it on Thursday, I think. Um, but they sent me like a little Dior thing. Oh, Miss Dior little perfume thing and then a Dior Sauvage. So yeah, this is the box. It's the Boots Best of Beauty box. And it's just basically a collection of things. A big green box. And then if we open it up. Ooh, ooh it's like an early Christmas. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. So the first thing in here is the archive the veil hairspray never used this before but hairspray always comes in use and i think this is a full size because that was another thing with this box i thought that you got a good amount of full size products so yeah got the archive hairspray i've got a little cleansing cloth because it came with a lizard cleanse and polish i really, really love this cleanser i use it a lot i've purchased it many many times before i haven't got one at the moment actually and i've got like loads of these lizard cloths because they're just really really nice and i think every time you buy one of these you get a cloth with it um but yeah i thought that was a good size um it isn't a full size it's 50 mil but i feel like that's a really good size um good for like traveling and stuff we are actually going away in december which i'm very very excited about and i will be vlogging so this might go with me then but yeah it's just it's still a really good size i thought it's not like the mini mini version but it was a good size there's a little a brazilian bum bum cream again this is just a little mini version but i feel like it's a good size um and then we've got the 
Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, which I'm pretty sure that is full size. I've never actually used the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I used to use their eyebrow pencil years ago because they used to be like the brow brand, but I've never used the brow gel, but I've heard really good things. So, and it's just a clear one, which I feel like is, you know, just good for the box because it'll suit everybody. Because this was the other thing with this box. I thought it was a good like range of products. Like some of the advent calendars I saw, like they were, had like multiple shampoos in them or something. And I just thought, well, that's not the best. And then we've got a lip balm from Huda Beauty. This is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm Icy in Frost. Instant Cryo Tingle Building to Ice Baby. Just looks like this. I don't think I've ever actually owned anything Huda Beauty, so this is exciting. I feel like this is going to be one of those plumping. Oh, it feels nice. It's got a scent to it. I can't figure out. Oh, oh, it's starting to tingle. So I'll see what my lips look like by the end. And then also we have a Patchology Illuminating Eye Gels. Oh, I think these are gel ones. These are cute. That I can use. And then we've got a free brow wax from Benefit. I used to get my brows done at a Benefit brow bar all the time. That was in Debenhams, which closed down, so I'm going to have to find one. And definitely get a free brow wax because they're like £18.50 for brow wax. So I feel like that's really, really good. I think we'll put that to use at some point. And then this is the Bare Minerals Ageless Firming Anti-Age Cream. Keep that for when I run out my current eye cream. What's this? This is the Grown Alchemist Hydro Repair Day Cream. Nourishing non-greasy facial moisturiser. Oh, I saw this. I really like the look of the packaging. I think this is full size. Or I think the eye cream's full size. It just looks like that. Like, look at that nice packaging. That looks cool. I'm really, really excited to try that. Always up for trying new moisturisers. And then we've got a mini Urban Decay All Nighter. Love this. Really, really good. Obviously, this isn't this isn't full size. It's just like a little mini one. But I feel like that's good for travelling because like big one is so like big to carry around. So I feel like this will be good for travelling. I might pack on a trip. We have a Paco Rabanne One Million Little Perfume. Oh, that's cute. Like to carry in your in your bag. I've never I've never smelled this before. How the hell do I open this? Oh, it's quite a nice scent actually cute little perfume and that's obviously like bigger than like one of these like sample sizes so that's good then we have something from the ordinary this is the multi-peptide and ha serum never tried that i think that's full size because that's 30 mils i've been looking at peptides because i think peptides are good for men to be good for anti-aging and i am starting to get lines on my face at the tender age of 30 i've never tried the serum i've tried a few things from the ordinary but i've never tried this serum so i'm intrigued to try that well, a couple more things to go we've got a dr jart skin Bar barrier moisturizing cream this looks like a little small size but again that'll be good for like a travel size for when i go away i know like a lot of people could like travel for christmas so i feel like these are really good for like those and even though they are like minis like traveling size like they're not like they're like a good size still like that's decent moist amount of moisturizer the skin barrier moisturizing cream so i'm intrigued to try this because i do like dr jart i use their thicker pair stuff um, which I really, really like. So that's really cool. Then we've got a Fenty Gloss Balm, which I've never tried. This is the Universal Lip Luminizer in Fenty Glow. I've never used a Fenty Gloss Balm. I think that's a full size one as well. Like, look at that. A nice, like, nudie brownie colour. I'll have to give that a go. Oh, yeah, just like a nice nude. Very nice. feel like that would be, like, a nice universal shade, which is why they've put it in the box. But very excited to try this because I know people rave about the Fenty Gloss Bombs. And I don't actually think I've ever owned anything Fenty, so that's really, really exciting. Then we have something from NARS. This is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in American Woman. Just like a little mini size. That's really cute. I've got a mini lipstick from them. Oh, look. Oh my God, that is so cute. Love the packaging. I love NARS products. Yeah, this is an American Woman, which I think is just like a nude shade that's the shade oh that's a nice shade that's like a nice deep pinky mauvey nude nice wearable actual shade i feel like a lot of times in these boxes you get like reds or something and then we've got three things left we've got something from ren this is the ren glow and protect serum again i love ren products um i've used like i use a few of their vitamin c products i'm intrigued to try this one i think that's a full size as well I'm really impressed with this box like that is a lot of products um and there's some like really good like full size products I feel like this is all stuff that I'm going to use as well you know okay I think we're on the last two things so 
One of them is this, which I think is adorable. It's the Pixie Hello Kitty Glow Tonic. Look at that packaging. So, so cute. I really like the Pixie Glow Tonic. I haven't used it for ages, actually, and I've been thinking about adding it back into my routine because, like I said earlier, I've been getting some acne on my chin um, and I feel like I need to reintroduce a toner so yeah I really like the pixie glow tonic from when I've used it previously and I'm sorry look at that little packaging that is so cute that's gonna look so cute in the bathroom love it and that's like a pretty decent size glow tonic as well and then the final thing in the box and actually one of the reasons that I was drawn to pick this up because I've I it's a palette and I've been eyeing up this palette for a few years and I've just never bought it. I feel like I never buy myself eyeshadow palettes. I don't know, I just don't <laughs> buy myself eyeshadow palettes. But I have really loved the look of this one and I've been thinking about getting it for a while now. Um, so when I saw it was in the box, I thought, oh, this is great because I'm pretty sure this alone is worth about £40. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way the natural nudes complexion inspired eyeshadow palette i have a Too faced palette already i think it's the pumpkin spice one i think that's what it is and i really really like the quality of their eyeshadows yeah like i said i've been eyeing this up because this is right up my alley it actually looks like something i would use which is very exciting so it just looks like this cardboard packaging which is a little bit disappointing but never mind doesn't really matter does it and then these Look how fresh and beautiful that looks like. There's a mirror in there and that looks nice and fresh and beautiful. But the yeah, these are the shades, which I think are just really beautiful, wearable, pinky, nudie shades. They're all really up my alley. I love the shimmers. The sparkling rum shade down here looks gorgeous. But yeah, I feel like it's going to be a really, really good palette. I feel like I'd use all the shades in this. Yeah, and I think it's a really nice mix of mattes and sh shimmers. And I like that the shimmers are slightly smaller than the mattes because I feel like I'll probably wear the matte eyeshadows more, but the spark, the shimmers look nice. Oh, that sugar chestnut looks really nice. And I feel like this is going to be a really nice palette as well for the festive season with all those sparkles and shimmers. Like, still like making it wearable, like simmery sparkles. But, oh, that looks beautiful. Love it. So, yeah, that is everything that was in the box. I just thought was a really good collection of stuff they're all things that i'm probably going to use well they are all things that i will use i really really like all the look of all of these really really chuffed and i think for 80 pounds it's definitely worth it so like i say i will link it down below if it's still available yeah i feel like if you're someone who did want to get an advent calendar and i just feel like they were just so expensive this year that i just feel like this was a good box of items i'm really really chuffed um so yeah let me just give you an overview of the products um in case you didn't want to listen to my ramble and you skipped ahead this is a little overview of everything in there all of that for 80 pounds i think is really really good yeah well done boots really really happy with that that was actually the parcel that was said that we're going to deliver before three o'clock so hopefully if my other parcel comes soon because i don't want to miss that because that's the lamp for the bathroom i will hopefully be able to still go out about today i'm really really chuffed with all my things it's like christmas i've got like all these new things to like play with i'm really really excited uh, but did just want to share that i know that's quite long and rambly okay it looks like no time has passed time has passed it's now actually midday um i've literally just been sitting on the phone to my sister but my next parcel arrived so i wanted to show you it put it on box on camera this is from Urban Outfitters. I think I mentioned this is a lamp for the bathroom. But obviously, because it is a lamp for the bathroom, I couldn't obviously get one that needed to be plugged in. So I've had my eye on this for a while because it's a battery operated lamp, but it was a little bit spenny. Um, and then Urban Outfitters have been doing like daily deals. I think it's in the run up to Black Friday or something. And I saw that, and then they had money off on homeware. So I picked it up. There was a few different colors. And to be honest, there was a gold one that I liked the look of, but that one wasn't on offer. So I just went with the white. My idea is to put this in the bathroom because I like to read in the bath. And we've got the obviously main light in the bathroom, but it is very, very bright. But if I turn the light off, it's a bit too dark. And obviously I can't read my book in the bath so i wanted to get a lamp so that i could still have a light in there but obviously because it's the bathroom and we're in the uk i think they do in other countries we don't have obviously plug sockets because that would be a hazard so yeah i saw this lamp on urban outfitters and it was it's battery operated 
so it doesn't need to be plugged in and I thought it just looked really, really cute in the bathroom give me some lighting options yes and I actually did buy a table from an antique store a couple of months ago that I actually want to stand down because I'm going to put the lamp on that table um but yes but this is the lamp really really cute See, it's like cordless and then you have a space at the bottom for batteries um it was 39 pounds like i say it was on offer so i think i picked it up for 26 maybe and they did it with the colors and they actually do this lamp with actually like a wire if you want a wired lamp parts included a lamp uh insert two double a batteries that's it okay it literally just needs batteries i don't actually think we have any double a's which is a bit annoying but drop with that i need to see what the light looks like when i put it on it's now only 10 past 12 and both my parcels have arrived so i think i will actually head out because i said i was going to save for tomorrow but i kind of just want to have a rest day tomorrow so i think i'm going to move all my like home chores that i need to do my vintage stuff until tomorrow and i think what i'll do is get ready and i'm going to head out i want to head to a little shop i'll bring you with me i might pick up a coffee as well and then i'm going to pick up some bits of dinner okay i'm ready to go just put a jumper some jeans and my little slider things on um, i'm not even sure how cold it is outside it looks really really sunny um but yeah i'm just wearing this jumper and some sunglasses and let me head off To um, Sabrina Carpenter's little Christmas album called Fruit Cake. I'm running like two songs in, but I really like it. Time for Christmas music, I suppose, because Sabrina Carpenter says so. But I am home, as you would have seen, I popped to the little shop with some Christmas decorations. You might have seen I went in a few vlogs ago um, and I saw some things that I wanted, which I didn't manage to pick up. I'm not going to show you them because they are a gift for somebody. And I don't think they watch my videos, but just in case, I'm just going to keep those a little secret. And then I popped to the shop to pick up dinner. I did want to get batteries for the lamp and I completely forgot. Um, but I think I'm going to have to pop out at some other point to get some sandpaper. Because I want to try sanding this table. Um, so I might go tomorrow to get sandpaper and then I'll get batteries then. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We might have two batteries. I'll have to give them a go. But I thought I'd just quickly show you what I picked up from the shop. Because I'm going to make myself a nice, simple but nice dinner, um, kind of like a girl dinner, but actually like put a little bit of an effort in. Um, so I've been seeing these like salmon rice bowls like everywhere and I've still not made some, so I thought I'd make one of those because I thought it'd be really easy. So I just got some sticky rice, um, got some salmon for the said salmon bowl. I got pak choy for the said salmon bowl um, in the little recipe that I found on Instagram. They used avocados but the avocados are going to be ripe so i just got some pak choy because i really pa like pak choy i got some spring onions to go on top i got some sriracha i got some all-purpose seasoning because it said to have that and i thought that would just be good anyway um and then i also got cucumber 
So that's all for the bowl, which I'm going to make later for dinner. And then I also picked up this vintage mac and cheese because this is really nice and it was on offer. So I thought I'll have this for lunch either today or tomorrow. And then I picked up a sparkling water because I just fancied one. I picked up these raspberry blondies. These are delicious. If you like raspberry and white chocolate, these are really, really tasty and I really like them. So I thought I'd pick those up. And then I picked up this, these teas, um, which is the Twinings Wellbeing Collection. So you get four defense, four glow, four digest, four detox, four sleep. And then I also picked up a chocolate and hazelnut croissant from the bakery section because it is almost two o'clock and I've not yet eaten today. But yes, it was a nice, successful little outing. It was a really nice weather, actually. It was really nice and sunny outside, as you would have seen. Um, I'm going to put all of this away and then I'm going to eat my croissant and then i think i'm just gonna chill i think i might just watch some gossip some gossip no, i'm not watching gossip girl i'm watching gilmore girls i might watch some gilmore girls and just have a little bit of chill on the sofa i think i'm gonna like save all my little jobs for tomorrow like my vintage stuff and my sanding of the table and stuff i'm gonna do tomorrow i think i might just take the rest of the afternoon to relax pretty much girls i've been on the phone to alex yes i'm on the final episode of the season and then i'm gonna make dinner but i'm very very excited season four is the best season I'm very excited i won't tell you what happens again if you've never seen it but i'm so excited i mean you can probably tell by our reaction This is dinner. Uh, we've got some pak choy, cucumber, and sticky rice, and then salmon. Looks really tasty, so I'm gonna go eat this now and watch some more Gilmore girls. Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's actually quite late in the morning, it's like 11 o'clock. Um, I had a bit of a late night last night. I find I always do when I'm home alone. I don't know why. So I didn't go to bed till quite late. I've been up since, I've been awake since 8.30 because um, Mia came and woke me up for breakfast. But I've just been having a bit of a lazy morning in bed, just chilling. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to this morning. Last night, I think the last thing I showed you was my dinner. That was really, really tasty actually. Um, I had like charred the salmon a little bit, but it was still really, really tasty. I really enjoyed it. I've got quite a few things that I want to get done today. I think I mentioned yesterday, I have a pile of things that I need to put on vintage, so I really need to sort out that. Um, I need to sort out the bedroom. I think I'm going to do that first. I do want to pop out at some point and get some fresh air. It looks a little bit rainy and drizzly today, but I feel like I want to get the vintage things out of the way first, otherwise I'm just going to keep putting them off. So I feel like I might do that in a little bit and then I'll get ready to go out later on. I think I'm going to grab a Terry's chocolate orange hot chocolate from Costa's while I'm out and about. So I think I'll save that till a little bit later on. I'm just going to sit and enjoy my cup of tea for now and then I will get up and start sorting out my vintage stuff. makeup i've got dressed i'm all ready to go thought i'd just quickly show you my outfit i have just filmed it for another video that should be up in a couple of weeks yeah this is my makeup i'm wearing that um nars american woman again but i've just left it matte this time and i really really like it with like a more blushy pinky look and then this is the outfit just gone black jeans high neck jumper leather jacket 
my throw on fake books which aren't the ideal with this outfit but i just can't bother for anything else and then my grey tote bag so yeah that is the outfit i'm gonna head out now i'm gonna head to the shop and i'm gonna grab a hot chocolate i think i am back home now um i had every intention of filming a couple of clips while i was out and about because it looks really cute and cozy and autumnal outside but my phone is doing that thing where it tells me I've got no storage. So I need to sort that out. I really need to go through my camera roll to be honest because I've got like 6,000 photos in there that, don't, that I don't need. But I just picked up a Terry's chocolate orange hot chocolate. Um, I get mine with oat milk and they do do vegan cream as well. To be honest with you, I don't really rate Costa coffee. Sorry, Costas. But I love this hot chocolate. So <laughs> every like Christmas, I don't go in like all year and then I go in a, at Christmas and get like six of these sorry if you can hear that we've got a gardener we're going the front garden um i'm just going to chill for a little bit and probably watch a youtube video or something um i'm going to have some food because i've not had lunch yet and it's like half three and then i'm going to have a go at sanding the table because i did manage to pick up some sandpaper while i was out so i'm going to give sanding the table a go i think i'm going to start at the bottom because i'm not sure how it's going to go because it's got like a piney varnish on it i'll show you it in a bit but yeah i want to give it a sand because i'm not fussed on the color but i might give it a go and see how we get on and like do it on a bit that's not really noticeable and then if that looks rubbish then not bother but i'm gonna go enjoy my food and i will speak to you when i'm sanding the table okay full disclosure it is actually the next day um i didn't get around to sanding the table yesterday so I wanted to do it today and although i'm not necessarily vlogging today i thought i'd vlog the, doing the table because i've banging on about it 15 million times in this video um this is the little table in question as you can see it's got like quite a varnish piney color on it that i want to see if i can get off because like underneath it's got like a really nice wood texture so we're going to see if this is going to work i picked this up in an antique store for 12 pounds and it is actually a plant stand i am sat in the kitchen <laughs> if you're wondering why there's a fridge behind me because it's one of the only rooms in the whole flat that doesn't have carpet and i thought i don't really want to be doing this on the carpet because it's going to be easier to clean on this floor so yeah yesterday i did pick up some sandpaper i just got these two sandpapers and then i got a sanding block and we're just gonna give it a go and see what happens i'm probably gonna start on like the bottom and just go from there and see what it looks like but honestly i have no idea really what i'm doing we're just gonna give it a go and i think it's looking a little bit better i feel like i'm getting somewhere with the legs i don't know if you can see the legs look like 50 million different shades now the top is looking a tiny bit less shiny but this is definitely a lot more difficult than i thought it would be um and i'm absolutely covered in dust so yeah i feel like we've got somewhere it's just going to be a lot more work than i thought i don't even know if can you get them like an electric sander i think you can maybe i need let's see if my dad or someone's got one of those and maybe he can sand it for because this is just going to be a lot of work i was thinking of like maybe painting it in like a varnish or something because i just want it a nice wood color and i didn't mind the orangey pine it just didn't really go with the vibe and i didn't really like how shiny it was so I just want it like a nice wood color i feel like i've got somewhere but we're not quite there yet because their legs look like a million different colors but we try <laughs> oh this is one of those things that i literally thought would take me like 10 20 minutes naively um and it looks like it's gonna be a full-on project <laughs> yes i might call it a day for today 
and pick this up another time. It's fine for now. It just does need some more work. Okay, um, editing Emma here. I'm just here to finish off the vlog and film an outro because I didn't really end this vlog and I just, just want to film an outro update on the table I kind of gave up and I'm actually taking the table to my dad's this weekend and he's gonna help me because <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't want to mess it up because obviously I want to use the table so yes he's gonna help me also it means I can do it in his garden and make less of a mess because honestly there was dust everywhere but yes I did just want to come on and round off this video i really hope you enjoyed it It was quite a long chatty vlog um it's a lot of just me talking to the camera but hopefully you enjoyed that but yes if you did enjoy it i'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and i will see you all next week in a brand new video goodbye